Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in Far Cry 5. First of all, we will look at the, all the settings that you can change inside of the game. And after that, uh, we will look at the config file because you can change more parameter and the config file and you will gain a lot more FPS if you're using the config file. So make sure that you're watching the old video. So for video, we will start with the air, nothing to change for sure. If you have like a pretty shitty computer, you will need to lower your display resolution and also make sure that your refresh rate is matching the refresh rate of your uh, monitor. Quality now, first of all, texture filtering and, 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 and terrain over there, it's more related with the texture. So you just need to have a, a lot of VRAM gig on your, um, video card so if you have 4 gig and more you should be fine you can put it at high or normal whatever you need but uh, you should not have any trouble with that if you have a video card with 1 or 2 gig of VRAM um, you will need to for sure look at it an interesting thing right in the, all the Ubisoft game normally they always give you the VRAM that you're using when you play the game so that's cool so you can adjust and know how many you have and how many you're gonna use Shadow. Shadow is very important. This uh, game is very hungry for CPUs. If you put it at low, you will gain 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. So shadow, low, you will gain a nice chunk of FPS. Geometry and vegetation, same thing. You will gain a pretty nice gain, but the problem here, your image quality will decrease a lot. Uh, for me, honestly, uh, shadows is not something very important for graphic, um, for image quality and the graphic of the game. But during return visitation, you will see a big decrease. But you know, if you need to, to get more FPS, you will need to lower this one a little bit. Environment. This one, same thing. You should play at normal because honestly, low is pretty bad. If you look at the water right now, you will lose a lot of nice effect and normal i think you should run it fine with all the other modification that will tell you what to change in the config file later so this one running at normal uh water same thing uh this is more when you're playing near water and you're looking at the water you will drop fps if you have uh, you don't have a pretty a good computer and you're trying to run it at high but uh, you should run it at normal and if you have like a laptop or an integrated uh, gpu uh, you should probably run this at low uh terran would talk about it volumetric fog this one is using a lot of resources too uh if you lower it a little bit uh, you will gain two to three fps for each bracket but in the config file i will show you how to remove that and you will gain more fps anti-aliasing honestly you don't have a lot of difference between taa and smaa i feel like if you have a video card that's maximum three years old uh, you should be fine with taa and if you have like uh, an old gpu uh, i don't know why but uh, i feel like my uh, 50 what is it again no 60 yeah 6950 and uh, my AMD car, I'm getting a lot more FPS on the SMAA, but you know, it's a pretty old car. So uh, yeah, make sure that uh, the Intel easing over there, it, uh, it's, it, you choose the proper setting if you have a new or an old car. Motion blur, this one, I don't really like the effect, so you can remove it and you will gain one to two FPS. Uh, it's the kind of like when you move left to right and it's kind of blurry not something that I really like so yeah you can remove it and you can expect a really small gain for this one okay uh, last one advanced setting here make sure that you're using vsync at off you don't want any input lag and you want to unlock your frame rate uh, enable frame rate lock on I'm putting this at 144 because when uh, by default the game is at off here in 60 so if you have a, uh, a monitor like me 144 Hertz you need to unlock this and go at 144 uh, finally the resolution scale you can gain a lot of fps if you go under one but honestly your image will look like shit so this is like really a last resort after that <clears throat> i'm gonna go to your config file so document my games far cry 5 open game profile here with uh, notepad plus plus and you will have a file like this so all the render profile here, custom quality and stuff, this is all the setting that you set inside of the game. The one that you need to look at, it's the IGE setting here uh, and show shadow. So right now, if you put your shadow at low, you will run uh, the shadow with low resolution. But if you remove it completely, 
you will uh, gain more FPS. You will not have any shadow in the game. So just put zero over here. And another one that you can do that can give you a lot of uh, FPS, it's the fog. If you put it at zero, th same thing, you will gain a nice chunk of FPS, okay? So a lot of other stuff that you can change here, as you can see. So you can try maybe uh, other stuff if you want, but uh, this is the two that I'm... Uh, I'm pretty confident that will help you. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig and your question. Uh, CPU, GPU, and uh, RAM, very important. And I will try to add the best that I can. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.